What's up you guys, it's your girl Andy Reacts and today guys, we have Zach Rushy. Shout out to him. My first black cookout. Let's get straight into it. Let's see if he make us laugh. You guys let me know down in the comments if you guys are feeling him. But we're gonna keep reacting to his skits maybe? I think it's a skit or him just talking about his first black cookout. We gonna get into it. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about his reactions. We're going to screen record it because we are going to do the commentary. And if you guys don't like me stopping, go ahead and go to the original video. All right, I'm going to start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people <laughs> positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of, like, passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Anyway, about a week ago, I get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. He says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet <laughs> mop. I like cookouts. So I show up to the cookout. All right. As I step out of my pick -em up truck, I realized that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt <laughs> shaker, the napkins, and me. All right. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins. All right. Which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, there's a long table where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating at. Okay. They bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Well, they say the blessing and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own <laughs> plate. They fix your plate for you. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off like this with barbecue, okay? And I'm gonna yeah. eat it. Don't get me wrong, I don't waste food, I'm gonna eat it. Hey. They done threw so, down. He about to get some soul food, baby. I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at. These two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties, with two different potato salads. All right. They say, we want to get your, your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different <laughs> calibers of mayonnaise. <laughs> Well, I ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout, okay? So I ate both of them, and I told them that they were just so damn good. Both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. Now, at this current time, I am almost in a food coma because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great-grandmama, Mama T, that's what they call her, she comes up to me with what looks like a five-pound piece of cherry pie. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. All right, Back barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness, <laughs> and she wants she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Hey, now he said he about to be in a food I coma. Saw Friday after next. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not <laughs> stupid. So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there because she ranked up top. <laughs> That's ranked. great grandma. So you don't mess with her. <laughs> I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian psychosis <laughs> of a food coma. And I did just like this right here. Just like this. I went, whew, I'm full. As soon as I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. <laughs> but somehow... I have, I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stakes spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And now the cards is in front of me and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None, I got no idea. All right, I'm white. We play go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible walked out in the field got some corn took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk all right put it in a bag went over there found some plywood in the shed cut a hole in it put it on an angle and we tossed it at each other that's what we yeah, do i, I never have, heard of that i never heard of that <laughs> 
no idea what spades is. So as they give me the run around idea what the hell is going on with this spades game, I realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock nines hit the top of the table. <laughs> you said three Glock I've got every damn spade that you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and says, hey buddy, you wanna go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking about. But I ain't gonna piss nobody <laughs> off. You gotta understand at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Stop. Don't hurt. Because we're gonna treat you like family. If one of us messing with you, we all messing with you. You have not you do not have to be that uptight. <laughs> okay. Now, I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward dominoes, <laughs> which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently, bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. Okay? And apparently when they yell gator, that just code word for the white man loses because <laughs> they just took my money. And I just put some more down until I ran out of money. <laughs> which is fine. Made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck. And I've got my truck in my sights. <laughs> I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave to this place. <laughs> now, I get to my truck. I put my hand on my truck to go open it. And there's a, like a sense of relief that comes over me. Like I didn't piss nobody off. Nothing went wrong. I went, whew, I made it. Now, as I open my door, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. <laughs> The whole damn cookout is behind me. Everybody there is right around my truck with Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me, he said, hey buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday, you coming back? And I yep, looked at him. I'll come back. <laughs> bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming back because that's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever going to get and the nicest damn people. I scared shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. But at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet. I told him, I said, y'all y'all need me to bring something like some ice, because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all want some ice or like or like some uh you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit? And bring him. You know, so he'll he'll feel at home. He got wife beaters and stuff. Yo, what y'all need? They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me and I. Which I will be there. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. Funny. She. Yeah, Zach is funny. Zach is open minded. Zach is my type. <laughs> Damn, I had this up this whole time. But yeah, they're all. This was funny. This was Zach rushing shots at him. I mean, like he says, there's no point to be nervous. If, we, if one of us messes with you, we all messing with you. It's all nothing but love. Hope the same. She hope the same. But hey. <laughs> we messing with Zach. We messing with Zach. Shout out to him. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel. Let me know if it made you guys laugh. And hey, we'll get to more.